And moving on to the fixed income market, the Naira has slipped to a 21-month low while the bond market yields remain a li little changed amid a preference for treasury bills. Now, we now speak to Thaddeus Udegbe, a fixed income dealer at Diamond Bank, for more on the fixed income and FX market. Thaddeus, thank you for joining us. And let's start with the Naira. We are seeing, many will call it fairly significant volatility these days. It's now um, um, above 163 for another day. Can you just talk us through the pressure points for the Naira right now and how you see things developing going forward? Yeah, thank you, Wale, for having me. Before I look at the development at the foreign exchange market today, I mean, this week, I would like us to, I would like to take you back to what happened last week. Right. If you look at last week, you find that the Nigerian Naira simply, simply responded to global events. Um, last, week, last, week, last week, we saw uh, the global events influence the direction of, uh, of, of the exchange rate. Uh, so if you look at the uh, on Friday, the Naira traded to a 20-month low of about 163.70 as a result of sell-off by equity investors, foreign equity investors in the Nigerian stock exchange. If you look at the index, you find that uh, the index declined from the August peak of 38,000 points to 36,000 points last week. And we understand this was basically driven by sell-off by uh, foreign equity investors as a result of the increased risk uh, in, um, in the global economy. If you look at the developments in the global economy, they are basically what uh, drove uh, the exchange rate last week. If you look at this week, uh, it seems there is some moderation. Uh, on Monday, the, the USD NGN pair opened at 162, where it closed on Friday. I uh, recall that on Friday, it picked at 163.70 before the central bank intervened and brought it down to 162. So that was where it opened on Monday, and it depreciated slightly on that Monday to close at 163 figure. Then on Tuesday, which is today, um, we saw a marginal appreciation at the interbank market. Uh, we, we saw the exchange rate close at 162.80 as a result of um, a sell of uh, uh, in inflow from... Right, but where do we go from companies. here, though? What's your take on the Naira? Are we likely to endure this till the MPC? Well, if, like I said, uh, what is basically driving it is events, uh, developments from the global economy. Um, global headwinds. Um, a, a number of investors are being cautious, particularly the foreign investors, uh, looking at the expectation of um, Federal Open Market Committee uh, in the U.S. meeting September 17th and 18th. A number of players, uh, investors, are of the view that uh, the United States Fed might um, taper off its bond purchases in that uh, meeting. So, market is a bit cautious, and we've seen that play out um, in the equity market because. And uh, players are reducing their exposure in risky assets, uh, which we have seen impact negatively on the emerging market currencies and frontier currencies. Right. Okay, let's talk so a bit about Nigeria, the Nigeria treasury bill market. Okay, Tadius, let's focus on the treasury bill market for a while here. Um, I see that there's a lot more interest in T-bills these days as opposed to bonds. Perhaps there's some caution around the bond market, but we do have an auction, a T-bill auction tomorrow. Can you just talk us through your expectations for that auction? Yeah, before I, I, I take you to the auction of tomorrow, um, on Monday this week, we saw a marginal rise in yield at the treasury bills. We saw uh, an approximate 30 basis point rise across all the, all the maturities as a result of the OMO auction that CBN conducted on Monday. You recall that CBN uh, uh, started this OMO auction on last week, Friday, after the volatility we saw at, in the FX market. So it also did another one yesterday, Monday. We saw, it sold 22 uh, billion, 450 million at a stop rate of 12.75%, which is the discount rate that was sold. And this translates to an effective yield of about 13.38%, which is slightly higher than uh, where those um, similar instruments are trading in the market. So the high yield at that auction simply influenced the uh, sentiment in the market, as, as we saw traders uh, try to price in that um, high yield at the auction. So looking at this week, tomorrow we expect uh, auction, primary market auction to be held, um, it took one night, 91 day, um, will be offered tomorrow, 182 and 364, which totals to about 152 billion. So for the 91 day, we're expecting about 22 billion. For the 182 day, we were expecting about um, 60 billion. And then for the one year, we were expecting about um, 90 billion. This right. Week. And of course, now, after this, we'll we we expect have... a maturity of about 204 billion. Right. Right, and of course, after this, we have the bond issue next week. Talk to us about how you think that is likely to play out. We know that foreign investors tend to be very um, active in that in that space. Do you get a sense that there's going to be a slowdown this time around? Mm, like you did point out initially, uh, we've seen the, the bond market this week trade pretty stable uh, as investors remain very cautious, and um, of course, they've adopted the wait and see strategy. Uh, uh, until events unfold. Like you did mention, the bond auction that we expect 
uh, September 11 is expected to be a major headwind that will determine the direction of yield. Uh, at that option, CBN um, DMO will be offering about uh, 25 billion of three year and 25 billion of 20 year, which are on the run instruments. However, if you look at the developments at the OTC market for these instruments, you find that they have been pretty stable, you know, in the last uh, few days. Um,